All right, here we go. Nationals, boom, let's see what this is gonna be. If we dupe with only two SIGs, I'm gonna be so sad. And we get Soto. Let's go, baby. Let's go. We didn't dupe, and I'll take Soto. We gotta get that out of the way eventually. Let's please be his best year. Please be his best on, year. Carlos. You're on it. All right, so next up, let's go ahead and uh, play some campaign mode. So real quick, we're gonna run through campaign mode. This came out a little while ago. We've already talked about it, but we haven't actually done anything with it. So each stream for the next four streams, we're gonna be doing playing a step. There's five missions. This will not take long at all. And pretty much, I think of this as like, I'm to show when you play moments in Diamond Dynasty. You have a goal, you gotta complete that goal. So the stage clear mission to move to the next stage, we have to advance um, the strategy batter to first base. So whether that's a walk or whatever, a hit, and then a bonus mission to get an extra star. So you get two for the stage clear mission. You get another star if you complete the bonus mission, which is if you can get the second base, you get the third star. And you want to get all three stars because if you go through all this and you get all three stars, you can complete all of this. If you get only two stars per stage, you're only going to get to up to 40. So it's good to do the bonus mission for you get all the cumulative rewards from this. Um, but real quick, let's go ahead and start this first one. We are going to do step one today. Get out of play. And the, the missions do get harder in the later stages, so... It's not always easy, but that's gonna be in the gap. First base should be a double, second base, so we should get the strategy mission and the bonus mission, and we're done, we're moving on to the second. First stage is very easy, there you go. Stage mission clear, first base and bonus mission, second base, we got all three stars, let's move on. So next up, we gotta get a hit to clear the mission, and we gotta score two runs to get the bonus mission. So we're gonna keep playing until we get the bonus mission too. Thought, yeah, you get some good rewards from it. It's actually pretty helpful. And we homered right there. So that's a hit, and that scores three runs right there. Done with that one. And so, there we go. Mission number two done. Three more to go, and then we'll move on to packs. So next one, escape the inning with two or less uh, walks or hit by pitches, and then get a strikeout is the bonus mission. So we are gonna be pitching. So there are ones where you bat or some where you uh, also pitch. Yeah, White Sox haven't looked great to start. The Marlins have been pretty pretty rough. Not been great there. Um, yeah. The Marlins are the biggest shocker for me. I know they have no pitching, but I didn't realize it was that bad. All right, this should be it right there. This should be a dot. Sit down, boy. Oh, I forgot, actually, it was only a 1-1 count. Never mind. Here comes a Just put it on the ground right here, and never mind. Strike him out, baby. Back to the bonus missions. Yeah, if you don't complete the bonus missions, well worth it to go back. Because let's just show this again. I'm not going to switch the scene. At 60, you get 1,000 stars, but at 55, you get 30 scouts. You get 10 green tickets. I mean, there's some good items in here. And you can't get all these items if you don't complete the bonus missions. So. All right, next up, score run and hit a home run is the bonus mission. So we're going to play this until we get a home run. And it chose Bryce Harper for us. We scored the, the both Nationals. runs, but we didn't hit a home run. So we didn't get the bonus mission. We're going to go until we hit a home run. MV Rounder, what's up? Glad you could make it. Do for a rematch sometime? No doubt. No bet. No doubt. We're probably going to be, I think the next stream, which will be two weeks from now in Rivals, will be an all live match stream and it'll be from the start. The last one wasn't, um, we only got one game in because we had the big update for the season update to go over, which was bigger than updates in the past, but we should be able to get three in next time. There should be time to show cards in the stream. There should be kick out. And we hit the home run right there, so we got that bonus mission now too. The Nationals. And let's move on to the last one and get the campaign step one done. So we gotta get a win right here and record two hits. So this one, you get to choose one of your players. We're gonna go ahead and go with, we're gonna go with Trey Turner, our best player overall. And so this one will pretty much simulate a game. You gotta win it, but it'll also let you intervene with the player you choose to try and get the two hits to get that mission done as well. Batter coming up now is so win and then the bonus is record a hit so you could technically not get a hit and you could take intervene off and then simulate the rest of the game but you're not going to get the bonus so let's just get two hits with them and then we will be pretty much done because we should be able to win this or what's up glad you can make it good to see you here outside for a ball so that's going to be a hit right there there's one and that'll get down out Take an easy double with that speed too. And he hustles his way to second. All right, and then it'll simulate again until Turner comes back up. 
Boom, boom, boom. And Turner's back up. And so after we get another hit with Turner, we're going to turn Intervene off because we already got the two hits. We don't need a battle. Bases are empty. Pulls one, two, yes, you three. can skip it once you get two hits. That's what I did on my Dodgers counter. Yep. So now we got two hits. We're going to turn Intervene off because we don't need to get any more hits. And it's just going to simulate the rest of the game, just like you would on any league mode game or whatever. So we're just chilling now. Your signature players were skill scare me if we rematch. We have two sigs. We only have two sigs on this account, too. We're going to open up a TSS tonight and get a third, unless we dupe. But if we do, we're crafting that triple sig pack um, as well. So. Okay, Cal, I think he's saying after you manually get two hits, you can turn off Intervene and skip the rest of it. So we got both of those done right there, and step one is done, guys. All right, so we have the reserve full right here. Let's actually use this last one to max the reserve real quick. All right, so now that we've opened those, let's go optimize our rival series right now. Let's go optimize our deck, which what you can do, if you go right here and do auto lineup, it'll choose the best players that you can. So it's taking us from a 72.8 to an 84.1. And so some of you guys might be like, well, that doesn't make sense. Why are there so many A's and B's, but yet you have a higher overall when you had a lot of S's before? Well, pretty much everybody in here is a live card right now. And then we have pick em players, and those pick em players get their own buffs right there, if you have 15 of them. So we, just from opening all those live packs, we went from a 72 to an 84.1. And obviously, if you auto line up, you can manipulate it, I think, a little bit and get certain buff effects if you have other players and still have about the same overall. But you can auto it and it'll give you the best lineup with whatever card you have in your reserve. So, obviously, there's other things we could do. We have more S players down here. So, if we wanted to get rid of some of our pick em players, we could. But the pick em players are nice. They got good overalls because, look, they get plus 15 to all their stats because they're rival pick. Now, this does reset, like they said, after every live, every three live updates. So all these players now that have the pick may not have them later once they reset. Um, so it's good to keep up with that. But the picks, they get 15 overall. So that 84 right there, B. How are they that overall? They get plus 15 and they're getting this buff right here. So we'll just keep that for now. Obviously, we could optimize and get rid of some of the pick players and lose some buffs there. We could manipulate a little bit. But this is what our deck scores look like now. The buffs we got right here. The buffs we got. So we got only five Nats players, but that only goes up to eight. You really don't need a lot of team players in this one, if I'm being honest. Live players, we got 17 out of 20. So if we get 20, that's all players plus two. Rival pick, we got all 15. So all players are the rival picks plus one and all, everything else. And then the rating, we got seven S's and we got eight um, A's. Could we optimize this further? Yes, but... Yes, Kaldro, the auto lineup does not give you the best lineup overall because of the other buffs. Like I said, you can make it a little bit better. But for now, with stream purposes, we're just going to keep what we got going right now. That card's beautiful. Okay, so all those packs are done. We are now left with a special pack for this pack opening. We got 12 impacts. We got seven team select impacts. We got a trade prime, two prime packs, three team select prime packs, three signatures, and a TSS. Um, so we're going to go ahead and start with the 12 impacts. All we're looking for is team bullpen guys that aren't dupes. I mean, we have impacts for the bench, starting lineup, and impacts are better for the rotation. So these are going to be all dupes. And if they're not a dupe, they're probably not going to make it on the bench or anything. Can we get a team, though? And we get no team right there. But we didn't pull. We didn't pull an angel. So we didn't troll kick out. I didn't troll myself with the Dodgers. So. Doc Holiday, what's up, my man? Good to see you here. Last two of the normal impacts. Can we get a team from it? If it's a dupe, it probably will be. I'm still okay with that. Let's just see a team. And we get back-to-back -back socks. Anderson and AJ Brzezinski. Okay. Seven teams like impact packs. All we're looking for is bullpen guys, like I said. Can we get some here that's not a dupe? Olympic, yes, that is an L. No team impacts from the normal ones. Come on. I need bullpen guys. I need bullpen guys. Don't need Patterson. I don't need Gore. I don't Malone. And we get, so we get four pitchers, but they're all starting pitchers. You love seeing it. You love seeing it. So none of these, literally I think everyone's a dupe, except many, maybe some of the starting pitchers. 
but we already have all impacts are better there, so. Okay, let's go ahead and do this trade prime pack because we're gonna be trading this card in most likely for the prime pitcher that we have. For the Nats for the trade event. So we got, is this, who is this? Musgrove, okay. So we got Musgrove, that's who is the trade event right now for the Pirates, okay. All right, next up, two prime packs. Can we get a team from one of these? Starting pitcher would be sweet because then we'd have a full prime or better rotation. And Musina, so Yankees decks get trolled and of course we pull a Guerrero. Just sadly, the wrong team. He obviously has Nats ones, but we pulled the Angels Guerrero, which actually is not helpful for, um, I believe, KCAL. So it is kind of a troll, but it's also not a troll. So that's a nice card. Both of those are nice cards right there. Three team select prime packs. Can we get a starting pitcher here that's not a dupe and fill out the rotation or some bullpen guys, please? Please just give me some bullpen guys or a center fielder or a catcher because those are impacts currently right now in the starting lineup too. So we already have Scherzer. We just pulled, I believe, the trade event pitcher right there. Um, and then we got Harvey, a bullpen guy. So is Harvey, do we already have him as a prime? That's actually really helpful. So we don't need to do this event, I think, anymore because I think it's the same year. So from the team select prime pack, we literally pulled the trade event right now for the Nats. So we don't even, I mean, we can just trade in and get him and use him as upgrade because he'll be a dupe. But we literally just pulled the trade event from the team select prime. So not complaining about that. Three normal SIG packs. We're going to open one at a time. Can we get a team from this today? On my Dodgers account, I had one normal SIG pack and I ended up pulling a Nats and trolled myself on Thursday last week. I'm hoping that we don't pull a Dodger right here and troll myself with the Nats deck with having a Dodger deck. But first one here, let's get Team SIG hashtag in the chat, please. Hashtag Team SIG. So we start off with the Astros troll, of course. We get an Astros SIG, the Astros troll, can't get away from it. And we get Valdez right here. Of course. First thing of the night is an Astros troll. <laughs> I should have known it was coming. I should have known it was coming. It's a nice card right there. Valdez 22. We can use this card technically as the triple sig pack craft if we end up duping tonight, which I hope we don't. But next one. Can we please see a team sig? And of course we pulled angels. K Cal is getting trolled so hard tonight. We pulled two or three impacts, a prime, Oh my gosh, and we just per pulled Erstad, who I believe I have on the 90s account with my Angels account there. Which, do you have Erstad already? Because if you don't, I'm so, so, oh my gosh, it's a 74 base too. That has to be his best year, one of the best Angel SIGs. KCAL, I'm so sorry if you don't have that. I gotta see this real quick. Angels. Bro, you're joking me. KCAL. That's the fourth best one you can get. That's 2,000, bro. He said, please don't be 2,000, and it was. That's the fourth best player you can get for Angels decks right there. I'm so sorry. <laughs> KCAL, it's a rough night for you, my man. It's a rough night for KCAL. Oh, gosh. All right, last, last one. <laughs> oh, oh, and we couldn't pull a team, sadly. Get a Brewer right here, so no team tonight. But we didn't pull a Dodger, so I didn't troll myself. So I'll actually take that. But KCAL got destroyed. You have his Impact 2000? Yikes. Yikes. Besides Trout, that's the best batter card you can get for them, too. That's crazy. And Grinky 11. Okay. I think I pulled Grinky 14 Dodger from a TSS or the Triple Sig pack on my Dodger account the other day. So. All right, here we go. Nationals. Boom. Let's see what this is going to be. If we dupe with only two SIGs, I'm gonna be so sad. And we get Soto. Let's go, baby. Let's go. We didn't dupe and I'll take Soto. We gotta get that out of the way eventually. Let's please be his best year. Please be his best year. Soto 18. I'm thinking that might not be his best year, but hey, I'll take it. It's not a dupe. And let's go look at the index real quick. What is Soto's best year? So Soto 21's his best year. Soto 19. Ah oh man, Soto 18's not his not a great year, honestly. Soto 18 is the one. Two, 
two. It's Soto's third best year, man. Ah, if it only could have been 21 his best year. 18. 18's pretty decent still, but man. Yeah, it's his rookie year too. Uh, you know what? I'm not going to complain though. Beggars can't be choosers because we didn't dupe and now we can just replace Soto, Soto 20 Prime with the Soto 18. If we eventually got Soto 21, we could do a special development transfer from 18 to 21 as well. So we'll work on that card. We didn't dupe. I'll take it.